Hello, this is Jack from teachingeslonline.com. Now, today I'm going to go through the basics of active campaign automations. Now, if you're new to active campaign, then know that these are also called email series or autoresponders where somebody opts into something and then you send them emails that go out automatically depending on when they opt in. So if somebody opts into your email list today, you might send them a series of five emails over a period of 10 days that go out automatically. And if someone does that tomorrow, then the same thing happens. Now I'm inside Act Campaign and on the automation settings. And I'm just going to go through some of the basics of this. And if you don't have Active Campaign yet, then consider using my affiliate link in the description to sign up for a 14 day trial. And also while you're down there, take my free course on email marketing. Okay, so this is the setup of a test automation. The first thing we need to do is add a start trigger and look at all these options here. So there are all these different options for when somebody receives an email from you. Now, things like when a web page is visited, that is when, let's say somebody is already a subscriber, they go to your sales page and then you can wait two hours and then send them an email saying, oh, hey, you were checking out my course. Do you want to buy it, for example? But there are lots of different things like a tag is added. For example, you might want to send out an email to your list saying, do you want to join a webinar tomorrow? Register by clicking here. And then if they click the link, you add, them a, add a tag to them and then an email gets sent out as well. But for most people, it'll be either subscribe to a list or submit a form. And I like to do submit a form because I have different forms, different opt-ins for people on the same list. Therefore, let's, I'll just show you some examples. I have a lot of forms. So for example, I have uh, this old guide, 15 amazing tools. I have it for Facebook ads. I have it for uh, the new one here, for Google ads and for languages, because I wanted to track people who came through Google ads and track people who came through Facebook ads. But let's just say I'm going to use, um, let's just do the 15 amazing tools new. So you have to set up a form first, which um, is all in my guide, my free course, if you want to go through that. Again, the link is in the description. But let's say you've got the form, you can add start. And then it's gonna say what you wanna do next. And there are two things you can do here. I'll just close that down. You can click on here to bring up this menu, or you can click over here as well for the actions. So it's up to you which one you prefer. They, they both do the same thing. But let's just click on this one. So these are all the, the, there are a few things here. We have sending options. Most people will be sending an email. You can send an SMS if you have that plan. The other thing is we have here is conditions and workflow. So let's just say that we're gonna send an email to start with, okay? I already just set this up before, so we already have email one. I'm just gonna save that there. So I don't have any messages there yet, but basically, I'll just show you this quickly actually. Edit this action. Um, we can edit this email. And then what you do is you go into the back end here, and this is where you design the email for that. And there are all these different templates here. There's custom as well, um, give an update, make an announcement, request an action, all basic templates. You can start from scratch as well or you can go to your past campaigns if you have a template. So I won't go into how to create those emails right now because that's a different tutorial. But let's say you have the email one. Then you want to, most people want to do here is wait. So wait for a specific period of time. So you might want to wait for a day and send the next email 24 hours later or two days. Um, most people wait for a day so we can do that and save. Then you can click here again and send out email two. So again, we can just click send an email. Um, for the sake of this, we'll just you know keep it simple by saying the same one. But obviously you want to change that to email two. And what kind of things you send them depends on what you want to achieve. So for a lot of people, they might just want to send them, send people more content or talking about their course, for example, if they want to talk about that within the first two emails, it all depends on what you want to achieve. 
But there's some advanced stuff as well that we can do here. So if we click over here, go conditions and workflow, there's the if or else one category, which is really good. And also there's a split. So a split, it can just basically, you can do an even split here and uh, it concludes indefinitely or after 300 contacts apply. And what you can do here is then send people down two different paths, track them and see which one converts the best. I really like this new feature on Epsi Campaign and also that all of this is very visual. So you can see exactly what is happening in the workflow. I'm just gonna remove that for now. Say delete action, okay. The other action we can do here is if or else. Okay, add. So this is a condition, all right? So loads of conditions we can have here. We can have opened, has opened, email one, okay, add. And then if you have, if that person has opened email one, okay, then what we can do is send them down here and send them a specific type of email. If it's no, then we can send them a different type of email. So for example, I have a, a automation where it sends them three emails. And then if people haven't opened any of those emails, I send them a message, message saying, hey, this is what you have missed. So then it's like a reminder for people to go back and, and see it and to just try and re-engage them again. And if they have, then you can send them off someone else as well. So it's saying here, please specify an amount of time to wait, otherwise there'll be no time for contacts or intake with email one. So again, yep, yeah, we might just wait for a day to bring that wait up in here. So then we have that wait. So it's good that they are giving you these errors so that you know what to do. And then from here, you can just, again, you can split from here, you can split over here, um, you can zoom in and out. So you want to have like more of an, an overview. You can add different triggers in. So maybe there are different forms that send them through this type of automation. But I think you can see that Act Campaign has a really good interface and it allows you to create these kind of splits and all these different conditions. And a little bit of a trick here though, I will say, is if you have another condition, you can do an and or an or. And when you do negatives, has not opened and has not opened, you need to think about negatives and and an or a little bit just to just to play around with it. But then you obviously can test it and just to see which people are going where just to make sure everything's working okay. And you can even do has done that and is, uh, you might just say country is India, for example, Actually, I think I need, that was a, a geography country is India. For whatever reason, you might want to do that and add another segment group or country is something else. It, it can get kind of confusing here, but for most people, it's going to be quite a simple um, split in that, in that sense. And then just over here, we have other things like uh, contacts where we can do things like add a tag so you can drag and drop this to tag to be added you have to add the tags beforehand but let's just say 15 tools Tesla save and then now that tag has been added to that person another thing you can do as well is like a condition to say has this person bought the course yet no okay send them this type of thing yes and then you can end the automation so that's an intro to active campaign in automations. When you've done, just click active and then it is ready to go. Now, if you found this useful, then you will find my course useful as well. It's free to go through. Again, the link to that is in the description. So go take that now. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.